A focus to the big political story that we continue to track where the suspense still remains of who will be the next chief minister of Karnataka. I will not do. Why should I do? Why should I cross my party line? I am not. I will not backstab also. I will not blackmail also. कौन बनेगा मुख्यमंत्री हु विल बी द नेक्स्ट चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटका दैट सस्पेंस स्टिल रिमेन्स आफ्टर कांग्रेस इज स्टनिंग विक्ट्री इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका द पॉलिटिकल म्यूजिकल चेयर ओवर द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स पोस्ट दैट स्टिल कंटिन्यूज टॉप ऑफ कांग्रेस सोर्सेज हैव नाउ टोल्ड अस हियर एट सीएनएन न्यूज़ 18 दैट द पार्टी स्टॉप ब्रास हैज डिसाइडेड टू मेक सिद्धरमैया द चीफ मिनिस्टर एज़ ही हैज द सपोर्ट ऑफ द मेजॉरिटी ऑफ एमएलएज मीनवाइल कर्नाटका कांग्रेस चीफ डीके शिवकुमार हु इज आल्सो अ टॉप कंटेंडर फॉर द पोस्ट has left and is on his way for the national capital before leaving for delhi dk shiv kumar said that he is not worried about the chief minister's post and has left the decision entirely on the party's high command now the biggest challenge for the leadership is to ensure that both leaders are happy and placated some other developments also now coming in where we are understanding one of karnataka's observers have in fact reached the congress president's residence that is malikarjun kharge's residence in the national capital even as we await for dk shiv kumar to land in the national capital we are understanding he is expected to land in delhi any moment so the suspense still continues of who in fact will be the chief minister dk shiv kumar is also on his way to the national capital sidaramaiya is already in delhi which way will the congress high command go what are the kind of combinations that they worked out to fix a name of a leader that will help the congress not just in the state of karnataka but also leading up to the general elections of 2024 Let's also now bring in our colleague Sharon Elizabeth who in fact is joining us from outside Malikarjun Kharge's residence. Sharon the entire focus from Karnataka has shifted to the national capital suspense still remains. DK Shivkumar saying I will not backstab I will not blackmail but help us understand what's happening in front of the Congress president's residence. We're understanding one of the observers has already reached Well, there is in fact a lot of buzz outside the Congress President's residence at uh, 10 Rajaji Marg, where in fact newly elected MLAs, around three or four of them, has already in fact inside the residence of Malikarjun Kharge. Apart from that, one of the three observers, the central observers that has been appointed by uh, the Congress leadership, uh, Deepak Babaria, was also in fact inside the residence of Malikarjun Kharge uh, for about five to ten minutes. He was inside, after which he came out and he said that uh, there are in fact formulas, there are in fact. Uh, discussions that are still on hopefully a decision would be made by today evening and you can see uh, once again there is in fact uh, uh, a series of uh, the newly elected mlas one by one they are in fact uh, coming and meeting malikarjun kharge after meeting uh, they are of course uh, leaving from the residence so uh, there are in fact a lot of buzz that is happening outside the Mal malikarjun kharge's residence now all eyes are of course on dk shiv kumar who is supposed to in fact uh, land at about 1 uh, in the afternoon today and he uh, is likely the sources have been suggesting that he will also be meeting a number of uh, senior congress leaders that include randeep surjewala that includes kc venugopal also and probably by evening today at 4 pm he will be meeting the congress president as well now remember sidramaiya is already stationed in the national capital though yesterday he didn't meet malikarjun kharge there is a possibility that uh, he could meet uh, the congress president today so but our sources have also been saying that uh, the a final decision or a consultation will only take place after a discussion with the gandhis now sonia gandhi is not in delhi she is in shimla and the sources have been suggesting she will only be back only, uh, by after 20th may but there is a possibility where both the leaders both dk shiv kumar and sidramaiya could meet rahul gandhi uh, but that will only be a courtesy meeting our sources have been telling us a decision 
action will in fact be taken by only these few select the high command that we talk about this uh, uh, sonia gandhi rahul gandhi and malkarjun kharge who will be finally deciding that who is going to be the next chief minister of karnataka so a lot of suspense as far as the chief ministerial phase is concerned we have been told a number of formulas were put uh, forth hmm. for to both the leaders uh, they have in fact been rejected one of them was of course the rotational chief yeah. ministerial ship which both of them have in fact refused uh, because jk shivkumar wanted the first two years to be the chief minister while hmm. sidramaiah has said that he is in fact an aged politician he is over 75 now and he should be given the first two uh, two years of the chief ministerial post but this rotational chief ministerial post has never worked for, out for sure. congress party yeah. neither in chatisgarh or in rajasthan and that is why uh, probably that uh, so once again uh, one more convoy of for the newly elected mla have in fact uh, now left after hmm. meeting the uh, congress president malikarjun kharge so a lot of buzz is happening yeah. here all eyes are of course on these two dk shivkumar and sudramaiya when are they going to of course meet yeah. uh, the congress president what is going to be the final decision as far as the karnataka chief minister is concerned oh absolutely that suspense still remains but sharan i quickly also want to understand uh, what really changed as far as dk shivkumar's decision of deciding to travel to the national capital but sharan i'll just request you to stay on with us Our colleague and senior editor Pallavi Ghosh is also now joining us on the broadcast. And Pallavi, let me take that question to you. Yesterday, we heard from DK Shiv Kumar that he was unwell; he is not going to travel to the national capital. Things change very quickly, where we now knowing that he is going to land any time here in the national capital. So, what really happened from yesterday till today? So both the Congress party sources over here, as well as DK Shiv Kumar's camp, are making it very clear that there's no question of any sulking coming in from DK Shiv Kumar. He was genuinely unwell, and that's the only reason why he didn't land yesterday. So now, when he's going to land here, the procedure is very simple. There is going to be later on a one-on-one -on -one meeting between Mr. Sidharamaya as well as the Congress president, and then with DK Shiv Kumar and the Congress president. Then there's going to be a joint meeting of the two of them, and then finally a stock-taking meeting of the top brass of the Congress party, which is. Includes the state in charge, the organisation's general secretary K C Venugopal, of course the Congress uh, president as well, to take a final call on the announcement of the C M. We are also being told that there is a possibility that the C M announcement may not take place today because there are endless rounds of meetings which are taking place. And in fact, Congress is saying, what's the hurry? Uh, it, uh, we've just uh, the elections were announced around. Uh, 13th and therefore to expect that we are delaying it uh, needlessly is not correct so we are expecting that procedure i i, I you know dk shiv kumar palavi i apologize for interrupting getting some live reactions coming in let's listen in dekha ja raha hai ye congress hai jahan loktantra hai bhajpa nahi hai ki hum do hamare do main fir aap se keh raha hu aap se liya hoga mujhse to nahi liya main fir 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 ye aap keh rahe ho na उन्होंने पर्यवेक्षक से भी कहा, कहा होगा सुनिए जब सब प्लीज सुनिए सबकी ओपिनियन आ गई है पर्यवेक्षक की ओपिनियन है वो खरगे साहब के सामने रखा जाएगा खरगे साहब उस पर डिस्कस करेंगे सोनिया जी से राहुल जी से प्रियंका जी से हम लोग लोकतांत्रिक ढंग से वही जो कर्नाटक की इच्छा होगी उसी के अनुरूप बीजेपी एलिगेशन लगा रही है की डिसीजन लेने में कांग्रेस कमजोर पड़ रही है उनको पूछो एक एक हफ्ते दस दस दिन एक महीना महाराष्ट्र की सरकार का कैबिनेट नहीं बना पाए थे तो मेहरबानी करके कुछ दूसरा काम संभाले कर्नाटक के लिए वो बाहर हो कितने कितने दिन टाइम लगा कितना लगा रिजल्ट आया तेरह की रात में चौदह को मीटिंग हुई पंद्रह सोलह बस तो टाइम नहीं लेकिन हमारे यहाँ लोकतांत्रिक प्रक्रिया का पालन होगा सबकी राय सुनी जाएगी और उसी राय के अनुसार ही निर्णय लिया जाएगा जो जन इच्छा होगी सीएम डिप्टी सीएम का दोनों बनेंगे इस बार कर्नाटका में सीएम डिप्टी सीएम दोनों थोड़ा इंतजार कर लीजिए ठीक है थोड़ा इंतजार आपको लगता है फैसला मैं फिर कह रहा हूँ जैसे फैसला आएगा सबसे पहले आपको बता दूंगा live reactions there coming in from various congress leaders who are saying that the congress believes in a democratic function uh, give them some time and the final decision will be put out there is no you know concern as far as infighting between leaders are concerned our colleagues continue to be with us